In this video, we are going to look at wireless technology, its configuration, and its main standards. The demand for connecting devices without using cable is growing everywhere. On a large scale, microwave and satellite, and on a medium scale, cellular systems and WiMAX are meeting mobile users' needs. At a small scale, such as local area networks, wireless LAN has become very popular. So, in this video, we will be going through wireless LAN IEEE 802.11 and its protocols. A local area network formed using radio waves rather than wired media is called a wireless LAN. It is standardized under 802.11 by IEEE. Its coverage ranges between a few feet and a few hundred feet. IEEE 802.11 standard covers the physical and data link layers. The main components of a wireless LAN includes user device, wired LAN, and access point. The user device, such as a laptop or cell phone, is capable of sending and receiving wireless signals via their network interface cards. The second component is the wired LAN that connects the wireless network to the rest of the network through servers and devices such as routers and switches. The third component is the access point, which is an interface between the wireless user device and the wired LAN. Most wireless LANs are a combination of wireless and wired technologies. Wireless LANs are usually formed in three configurations. Basic Service Set or BSS, Extended Service Set or ESS, and Peer-to-Peer -peer, or Ad Hoc. There are three types of configuration in wireless LANs. The first is the Basic Service Set or BSS, which is shown in the left picture. It is a single cell LAN which has an access point at the center of the cell. All user devices communicate through the access point. The second type of configuration that is displayed on the right picture is the extended service set or ESS. It has a multiple cell layout such as a cellular network but at a smaller scale. User devices communicate with the nearest access points and as they move across cells they are going to be connected to the nearest access points. The last configuration is the direct communication of devices without using an access point. This configuration is called peer-to-peer -peer or ad hoc. For example, when users connect their devices through Bluetooth, the connection is ad hoc. IEEE 802.11 was first standardized in June 1997. Its protocol suite included three uh, physical layers depending on the coverage range and environment. The first type of physical layer is based on infrared. Infrared works for short distances and nodes have to be inside of each other. Due to its relatively high frequency, it cannot pass through solid objects like walls. Its transmission rate ranges from 1 to 2 megabit per second. The second type of physical layer uses a spread spectrum which provides up to 2 megabit per second data rate in quiet environments and 1 megabit per second in noisy environments for distances up to 800 feet. The third type of physical layer is also spread spectrum but uses frequency hopping which can transmit data at 2 megabit per second for 300 feet. The other wireless LAN standard is IEEE 802.11b, which was ratified in September 1999. Its data rate is up to 11 megabit per second using 2.4 gigahertz signals. Another name for 802.11b is Wi Fi, which is short for wireless fidelity. 
IEEE 802.11G introduced in 2002. It transmits data at a theoretical rate of 54 megabit per second using a 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Also introduced in 2002 was IEEE 802.11A, which is capable of providing a data rate of 54 megabit per second using a 5 gigahertz frequency. Some new versions of IEEE 802.11 have also been introduced over the past decade, such as IEEE 802.11N and IEEE 802.11AC.